Welcome back. If you think being a full-time student keeps you busy, imagine what it would be like to be a full-time student and an entrepreneur at the same time. Sarah Buckle joins us in studio to talk with a special guest about the company he has created. Sarah? Thanks, Sierra. I'm here today with Martin McGinnis. He is the co-founder of two companies here on campus, and he'll be chatting with us a little bit about his businesses. Thank you, Martin, for meeting with us today. Thanks so much, Sarah. Yeah, so um, would you like to start off by telling us the names of your two businesses? Sure. So I co-founded two startups. The first one's called Greek Ride, and the second one is Event List. Greek Ride and Event List. Um, so what is exactly what is Greek Ride? Sure. So Greek Ride is a uh, mobile app um, that connects students and allows them to uh, help transport around campus. So essentially an Uber or Lyft for the Greek system, so the fraternity and sorority system on campus. Wow, that's really helpful. Um, so who are the drivers for that? Yeah, so um, we actually established <coughs> this app back in 2013 before I even knew about Uber. Or uh, So sometimes we joke that we wish we made Uber because that yeah. was the end goal. But um, <laughs> the drivers are actually students themselves that are um, volunteering to drive other students around um, to make sure that everyone gets around safely and more efficient. Um, so it's fraternity and sorority members themselves are the drivers. Okay. And what inspired you to um, start this idea? Yeah. So, um, you know, me and my co-founders, we always kind of wanted to start something. Um, and I think that the best ideas always come from something you're very involved in. So right. I got involved in Greek life early on and uh, had to drive myself. And I thought to my, you know, this is definitely there's an opportunity to make the system more uh, efficient and easier to use. And mm -hmm. that's kind of sparked um, my idea uh, to it. And then when I met my co-founder, Liam, he actually had a similar idea and named it Frat Cab. Mm. Um, and he was in a different fraternity. So we <laughs> decided to join forces and uh, create Greek, what became Greek Ride. Greek Ride, OK. Um, so you are in a fraternity yourself? Yes, I'm in Sigma Phi Epsilon. So OK, yeah. that's awesome. So um, talk to me about Event List. Yeah, so um, you know, after making Greek Ride, uh, I kind of realized, uh, along with my team, kind of the power of creating something and having people using it, especially mm -hmm. with technology, where you know, an app, anyone with, uh, with access to a mobile phone can immediately download your product rather than having to distribute things. Right. So um, you know, my co-founder Liam, he always had the vision of you know, what should we do today? Um, there's always several events and, and specials and things happening on campus, and most people just have no idea about it. So um, that's kind of evolved into what became Eventlist. Um, so originally, Eventlist was just an, an overall going out app, um, whether it's what concerts are going on right mm -hmm. now, what are the drink specials at bars, you know, what are some special events going on in the auditorium. Mm -hmm. um, so we still have all that information, but recently we've actually added stories as well, just like other companies like Snapchat and Instagram, to be able to um, link them directly to location. So unlike those other apps, ours, um, you can actually only post a story at the location you're at. Mm -hmm. But people within a certain radius can actually view it. So if you're ever wondering what a s specific venue is like, or a concert, or a bar, before even going, you get to see the stories from that area. Yeah. So I download downloaded the app for myself as well. And it's got kind of like a Snapchat feel to it. You just like post where you are. and. Um, just like you know let other people know what's going on it's really cool so um, what inspired you to start event list yeah um, as I mentioned uh, my co-founder kind of had this vision and we all realized we all have the same problem which is um, we generally go to the same places you know we're, we're people of habits so it's always nice to explore or be more aware of of your surroundings um, and because we had already created an app we knew it was definitely possible mm -hmm. and uh, we just worked very hard on um, we've been working for for a while just kind of on the concept and we were able to finally launch it pretty recently on um, this year so mm -hmm. and then I was also wondering like how do you find all the events that are going on in Bloomington is it is this just like a community uh, effort kind of thing like everyone that finds out whatever's going on they just post it and then Everyone. Yeah, that's a great question. So the uh, great part about Eventless is it's very scalable. Mm -hmm. So we're not manually entering every <laughs> event right. and concert and everything be because um, I wouldn't even have time to be here right now. Uh -huh. So um, <laughs> what we've done is is we've actually developed a specific algorithm um, that Liam made, which actually allows it to automatically scrape the events in an area. And that uh, eventually Eventless very soon will be able to be scaled to other cities as well and other colleges and automatically wow. grab their events. So we're looking forward to that and we're very wow. excited about it. So that's, what, that's what you put in a lot of work into this, and um, I see that it, it's come out great. So um, as a young entrepreneur, like my question for you is, how do you balance being a full-time student and a full-time entrepreneur? Yeah, um, that's a great question. I speak on behalf of me, Sam, Liam, uh, Ben, everyone that I've worked with. I think we all have that commonality of, first of all, there's passion. So you have to be passionate about mm -hmm. it. Um, and then priorities. So um, I think one of my favorite quotes is, if you want to get something done, give it to the busiest person. Because as long as you have the priorities right and you are able to set a, a, a block of time, uh, ironically, maybe to other parts of technology and distractors down and just really focus on it, I think you can balance it all. So I think it's just priorities and making sure you're passionate about whatever it is you're building. 
Wow, that sounds amazing. Uh, so thank you for coming in to talk with us today about Greek Ride and Event List. Um, make sure to like and follow their pages on Facebook. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah.